All right, here we go. The cat bike version two. Oh yeah. You better believe it, baby. Got a fake gas tank that serves a functional purpose, believe it or not. That's for the dismount. So you do not rack your whatever's between your legs. Comes the mascot, the rusty boy. And you might notice the differential between the pedals and the handlebars. It is by design. This bike cannot be stolen. Only a fool would attempt to do so, and since most bike thefts on the island are committed by drunkards exiting one of the many establishments, they're just going to be shit out of luck when it comes to this bike. They might be able to walk it into a ditch. That's about the best they could do. I kept the cup holder. I kept the mirror to better see that which approaches from behind milk crate. Kept Jonas Mace's uh, kind of mini fender splash guard with a new setup here. It's actually uh, two brand new bike frames were used for this. I completely ditched uh, the old cat bike's frame. And I think for you non-believers out there, I shall do a short bike riding tutorial. When it's late at night, Rusty and I walk down this old lane because the boar cat likes to attack. And even though Rusty is black, he's so old, he's just kind of defenseless. So I walk him home. He likes to come down here because it's his poopy ground where he goes poo poo and pee pee. He's got a nice little litter box here with some softer sand than where my trailer's located. And he likes to visit his all his buddies, the EMTs, who live in the EMT housing here. Of this building right here. And here's his poopy grounds. His outdoor litter box. And it smells like his litter box. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Sometimes he'll follow me home immediately. It's like he just came down here. Just to check it out. But it looks like he's going to go around front.